Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now I'm wearing this hat right here because if you can't tell it is super sunny out and it is literally 20 minutes later after the last video that you watched but in real life it's a day later. I don't know what I'm trying to say here but all the paint coats are done on this bezel and I'm going to wait about an hour which now is in like 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to spray the clear over this and oh my god guys this looks so freaking good like it's so shiny as y'all can tell the sun just just can't not glare on it it's so shiny that looks so good i cannot get over this now i don't know if i told y'all not or y'all remember from the last video i only got one can of this blue and uh ooh, uh we might be cutting it close but worst comes to worst y'all boys will help me out and drop a like on this video so we can buy another one can that is 44 bucks the only thing that's kind of like worrying me at this point is just this tape. I hope it's just holding its place and no paint is seeping through. I mean, I did it really good. I'm pretty sure I did. So worst comes to worst, new headlights. But let, let's let's not even say that. Let's just hope it's holding it really good because holy crap, that looks so good. Now, since we got to wait another 30 minutes, I figured I'll go ahead and tell y'all something real quick. So literally, I could not. If you watched the last video, I talked about this, but if you didn't, in the last video, I tried basically getting that bezel on my truck so I could see where to fall through on the color scheme. And obviously since it's already taken apart, I can't actually put it on there, how it's gonna be on the truck. But what I did was got my other headlight, put it on the truck, marked it with a piece of tape, and I just tried to get it as close as I possibly could on this one. Now, I mean, if it's like a little bit off, like a few, like a centimeter or something off on the colorway following through, I don't think it's gonna bother me that bad. But if it's like a whole inch off of like where the color fall throughs on my truck, I'm not gonna be a happy camper. Let's just hope it's good. I just figured I would tell you all that just in case you were wondering. 20 minutes later. All right, super excited right now. Um, this is why. I'm gonna show you why, hang on. What does this say right here? Clear coat. Now you might be wondering why am I so excited? I'm just doing a headlight bezel. Well, guess what? After this, we're going straight into the actual headlight. Yes. But it sucks because the other headlight isn't even taken apart yet, which is fine. If y'all wanna see a bunch of different parts for that headlight too, let me know down below in the comments. If you kinda just wanna see one video about it, let me know down below in the comments, but it's kinda gonna be hard to not make videos about it whenever I can't drive my truck unless I have headlights on there. Okay, y'all are probably just gonna get videos of it either way. So if you like it, make sure to stay tuned, boys. If you don't, well, stay tuned anyways, cause please. Thank you. I don't, I don't know. I'm just excited. All right, first coat done. Uh, gonna let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes and then hit the next one. 15 minutes later. Okay, second. Clear coat going on. I think that's gonna be the last clear coat I do for this. And y'all know what that means. We're gonna be done with this part. I'm so excited. That means after this, it's headlight time, baby. Because we gotta let this dry for like, I don't know, probably two days just to be safe. And then we'll tape off the blue side and then do the white, which, you know, won't be too hard, but it's just the waiting process is the worst part. But yeah, we're gonna get this last coat on and um, probably start on the real headlight. So let's get it. All right, so we're done putting that clear coat on. Wait about 10 to 15 more minutes, and um, I think we're gonna bring that headlight out here, so I'm excited. See y'all 15 minutes, woo! 15 minutes later. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, look at that. Can y'all see how good that is? And the sun's even going down. Like, the sun is like right over that. I don't know if you can see, but hey, this actually looks kinda good. Even sun down, this looks good. I could not be more excited on how this has turned out so far. So now that we are done with the clear coat, that means we are done with this bezel. Now, 
I said that we're gonna start on the next headlight, which we are in this video, so you're not getting blue ball that bad, I guess you could say. But we're gonna do it tomorrow since the sun is going down. It's not good to paint when it's kind of nippy, I guess you could say outside. So wait till tomorrow when it heats up a little and get straight to getting that headlight done. But for now, I'm gonna move this in the garage so we don't risk leaves falling on it or birds on it or anything like that. But yeah, we're gonna move this in the garage and boys, this thing looks awesome. And this is just a bezel. Like, literally, just a bezel. The next day. So, as you can tell, it is the next day. I don't know if you guys can't tell, but it's definitely the next day. And it's a bit chilly, and we got a little bit of overcast going on today. But now, what we're going to do is get this headlight, stick it in there, get some tape, make a line where the blue's gonna be, and then start taping it off. Now, I, I think we might have a problem. The more and more I look at the bezel, I think it's gonna be off. But we should have enough paint to fix it, make it go lower if need be, or higher if need be. Since it is two-tone, we can bring the white up higher or the blue down lower. So, should be fine either way. I'm gonna get this set up pretty good. Um, I'm gonna tape this off, or I'm gonna put this in the truck, tape it off, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, it doesn't look that pretty, but if you look closely, that right there, I don't know if you can tell, but this blue right here is gonna go to right here and that blue is gonna go all the way through. And even though it may not look that pretty, this line is pretty dang straight all the way across. From a distance, you can tell. Looks pretty straight if you just look at the top. And like I mentioned before, we do have room for minor mistakes on this, but you know, that's last case scenario. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But now that we're in here, we can check out the bezel and wow. Oh God, focus, man. Come on. Does this thing look good it's super smooth everything seems to be dried and it looks awesome but i'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this thing covered up by the rest of it i mean literally just from here down i'm gonna get like a paper a plastic bag i've been doing this for like i did it for this right here and i've done it for a few other things basically you get tape put it along the top of the plastic bag and cover up the rest of it you use less tape and it, it just works good 20 minutes later and just like that we are done taping this bad boy up. And you know what that means, boys? That means it's primer and paint time. All right, we've got the headlight in the uh, painting station, I guess you could call it. And first things first, we gotta clean it off, uh, wait a few minutes, get the primer on, and get the paint on. We are not gonna waste any time today and any time in this video. So that means, literally, I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna primer it, and I'm gonna start painting it. And hopefully, I'm gonna do that in this video without any little stop, unless something comes up. But other than that, let's get to cleaning. And then primering and then painting, yes. Got it sprayed, we're gonna let it dry off for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes probably, cause it's kinda cool out here, and then we'll get to spraying that primer. Okay guys, so we got the second coat done. Now we're gonna wait for this to dry. And then, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wet sand it or not cause it's probably gonna be nearly impossible to actually wet sand this. But we're gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes which is like, I don't know, five to eight minutes now. And then either we wet sand or go ahead and start spraying the blue on there. So I'll see y'all whenever we're gonna do either the wet sand or painting. Okay, so it's been a good hour, hour and a half maybe since I last sprayed the primer. And I think I said something about eight to 10 minutes left. Um, I messed up, I was thinking about another coat, but we had to let it dry and it looks to be pretty dang dry. I mean, I can touch it pretty much everywhere and there's nothing. So sorry for my dry hands. It's at the beach, you already know what it is. Uh, I'm sorry. 
I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, no need for wet sand. It's super smooth already. We're going to get to spraying this blue. I am, I am so excited. I can't. Let, let's just start spraying. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just finished the second coat of the blue on the actual headlight. Now, I have it setting in the garage. That's what I've been doing every time I paint outside, I bring it in. Just in case I have any falling leaves or anything. And woo wee, does this thing look good. Now, I think we're only gonna do two coats of paint on here as well, just like that, because honestly, this looks good. I don't wanna mess it up anymore, or it's not messed up, but I don't wanna take a chance of messing up how it looks right now so now we're gonna wait about another hour and then come out and spray the clear on it now i am getting so excited because we are moving along and behind the scenes i'm doing some stuff to the other headlight getting it ready prepping it and everything like that so y'all won't have to watch the whole process of the next headlight and i just want to show y'all something real quick like how good this looks just just watch so I'm gonna take this guy out. By the way, this thing is completely dry and it's smooth as a baby's butt and it looks freaking sick. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna put it up next to my truck so y'all can see how similar they look. Y'all see that? The exact same color. It's insane. But guys, I actually have a question for y'all. Do y'all like this like series of videos I'm doing where I basically film every single thing I'm doing? So, in the case that you wanted to do something just like this you had videos to fall back on and watch and help you through so basically my question is do you like these in-depth basically filming every single step of the way videos or from now on do you want to see i guess the bigger chunks of it like um for example the next video you see i'm already maybe about to start the white on the headlights or the bezel or something y'all let me know down below in the comments but guys don't be mad at me but this video is already probably about 12 minutes long and if it's any longer none of you are even going to watch it but we are about at the time in real life where i'm going to start spraying the clear on that headlight which means the next step would be finishing the bezel and after that's done doing the headlight and then putting it together then we're basically done with that headlight but other than that guys hopefully you did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like if you haven't already subscribe if you're new and i will see y'all in the next one peace out